Hi traders, Beyond is a perfect candidate for a gap and go. Now look at the first one minute candle. We started here, now we try to move higher. That's the second one minute candle here. And we're leaving a topping tail. That is, if it's going to come down now under, under 183.50, I just posted it in my trading room. I'm going to short it and it is getting close. Now I'm short. Okay, look at this beautiful spike down now. I'm short 4,000 shares in Beyond and it's going and it's going and it's going. Come on, baby. Please continue. Please continue. What's going on? I'm up $300, can't be, one point. Now that can't happen. Something is definitely wrong here. I have no idea what's going on. Something wrong with my platform. Beyond that, the lows now, I've got three grand. But what is going on here? Maybe there's some kind of a leg between my PL and the chart. What's going on? Now Beyond's, now Beyond's moving slightly higher. I have no idea what's happening, guys. No idea, no idea. Now beyond that, my entry point, I'm still up four grand, almost four grand, over four grand. I don't mind that, but it's wrong. Oh my goodness, I traded Apple. I left my level two screen on Apple. I can't believe I did this foolish mistake. And I'm still looking now at my PL and I'm doing real good. In fact, I'm doing better than I did earlier because I'm short Apple. I'm not short beyond. I left my level two screen on Apple and my chart on beyond and this is a terrible mistake which never ever in the last 20 years that I'm trading I've done this and now beyond is moving lower but I don't care because I'm trading Apple and look at the way Apple behaved and I'm up eight grand and I'm kind of going to cover it right now come on okay covered Apple is too extended to the downside I had no idea I was doing this I've never ever in my life, my life, done this mistake. There's a first time for every mistake. Now look at beyond now, under the laws, and here comes two points in beyond. So the fact is I could have had the same $8,000 in beyond. And I'm extremely lucky that Apple came down at the same time that beyond came down. Now we know the S&P is moving lower. Therefore, there's very high likelihood that both of them should come down. But both of them came down really nice. So the thing is, that's a big mistake. And in my trading career, I've done so many mistakes. This one, never ever. But there's one rule you need to remember. 50% of your mistakes, you're going to win money. 50% of your mistake, you're going to lose money. I'm lucky this time that this one ended up on the green side. And you know what? Extremely lucky because Apple came down even better than beyond. Big mistake. I like the M because the M is trending higher and the market uh, is just about to trend higher too, in my opinion. So I'm watching the S&P, which probably found the lows and I'm about to go long the M right now. I'm long the M, 4,000 shares, taking a big risk here because it's a huge mover. But now the market is about to move higher and the M is trending higher. It looks good. JNJ, on the other hand, is uh, started with a gap down, so it should gap and go. And I believe that there's a good chance it's going to come down if it comes under 149. So I'm about to short it under 149 and I'm going to have a 50 cent stop loss. And here it comes. Watch the buyers here, 149. Now moved under, clicking the button and I am short. I'm short j, &J 8000 shares with a 50 cent stop loss and um, it should come down. It's a gap and go. MU is very interesting. As you can see, MU started with a big gap up today and it came down because the market came down. And now I think it's likely to move higher after this nice consolidation here. It's a resistance point. And once it's going to move that over 5205, which happens now, I'm going to go long. I'm long right now. I'm long MU. And again, it started very strong, came down with the market. And I think now that the market's starting to move higher, should move higher, it should move up too. MU did well. MU did quite well. 52.40 was my target, just reached my target and I'm about to click the button. Clicking now, got my partial. Okay, so again, take a look at this consolidation here. And once we moved over that, just look at this long consolidation, nice resistance point. Strong is relatively, the stock is relatively strong. And as you can see, the market just started to move higher as I expected. ZM is looking great and I bet it's going to move over the highs. It's holding near the highs and I'm going to add another 4,000 shares because it looks to me like it's very, very, very likely to move over the highs. I'm adding 
now another 4,000 shares and here comes the highs and we just touched over the highs good it's looking really great right now JNJ is not doing good just moved over my stop 149.50 and I'm about to close this trade closing now well I have a loser I expected it to gap and go and come down but it did not I'm out of JNJ that's my first loser today ZM is at the highs and you know I should have taken my partial earlier I went through this unpleasant pullback here but now <laughs> look at it go $15,000 well I did expect it's going to be my biggest winner today $16,000 come on continue any sign of a pullback like watch the buyers here just moved under 502 and I'm clicking the button right now any sign of a pullback even a small pullback I took my partial it did become my best trade today and look at the results here well you see I've got $13,000 in ZM and my <laughs> other best trade today of course is Apple which I thought I was trading beyond but the thing is beyond and Apple moved quite the same well I was lucky just remember 50% of your mistakes are going to be profitable I'm on the lucky side today and Apple did well I've got a nice trade in MU2 and a loser in J&J &J, and the best result and my end result is just over $17,000 which is not a bad result for a 30 minute working day and traders uh, you can join our live trading room right over here for a free 14 day trial because all of my picks are called live in our trading room and don't forget uh, to add your comments right here below I will answer each and every comment you have if you have any questions and of course you can join us in our TradeNet Stock Talks which is our Facebook channel we'll be looking forward to talk to you over there thank you for watching see you next time thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.